The views and opinions expressed in this podcast episode are those of the host and guests and not their sponsoring institutions. Welcome back to the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Canty. It's just me and Chuck today. What did What's he up, do? Chuck? What did he do, man? <laughs> Man, if this is your first time listening, this is a Detroit-based podcast where I talk about any and everything, current, not current, Detroit news, etc. Today we have our top 25 songs turning 50. Damn. So taking, the, taking the clock way back to 1974. Mm. But before we do that, um, go support the podcast www.youtube.com slash at Chris Cross Corner. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment. You comment. Know. Yeah, always comment on the video. Comment. You know what I'm saying? We love to hear what y'all got to say. Okay. I have a, I have a video up there. It's 82,000 views. 82,000 views equals 82,000 subscribers. Okay? I'm just putting that out there. Every time you watch, click subscribe. All right. The Detroit Lions. In my in my lifetime, Chuck can say, you know, twice in his lifetime. But in my lifetime, the Detroit Lions have won a playoff game. This is the one I can say I'm old enough to actually remember. True, true. You know. I got some stats for you. Hold on one second. <laughs> and I can remember. One. I can remember, and I can care about. True. When were you? How old you? How old were you when the uh, first championship yeah. happened? What was that? Ninety one. Ninety two. Ninety one. Ninety two season. Yeah. So I was three. Oh yeah, yeah. You were born in eighty nine. I was born in eighty eight. Oh, eighty eight. So yeah, you you're gonna turn. Four, I'll be four. turning four. Yeah. Okay. So, man, 88. You're an 80s baby. Barely. I'm a 90s baby. I was raised in the 90s, though. So. Yeah, I was born, like, people say they're 90s kids, but were they really 90s kids if they were born in the 90s? Because you were raised in the 2000s. You know? So, I mean, 80s, if you're born in 80, you're a 90s kid, basically. Well, I could say I'm, I'm 90s, 2000. Yeah, 90s, like, yeah, you can say you're t- like early two thousands too. Yeah, that's what I said. Ninety two thousand. I graduated high school oh seven. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Man, basically, basically, your K through twelve years. That's your development. Yeah, yeah. So, I graduated in twenty thirteen. So I was definitely a two thousand. Two thousand. Twenty thirteen. <laughs> 2000, 2010, early 2010s. Mm-hmm. Like my high school and all, my entire college career was tw- tw- 2010 to 2019. So that was that was a decade. <laughs> and we'll get to that when we do our top 10 songs turning 10 years old. Or top 10 TV shows turning 10 years old. Should we do TV shows from the 90s? I mean, we could. We could. And movies from 94? Yeah. We should do that. That was it. Was a good era. Very good era. Like you had, like ones that debuted in '94. Like debuted in '94. It was like showing debut. Like debut. Like their first episode. Mm. That's a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> we gotta research. <laughs> I do all my research for, for, for every show, so I could be like, okay, here's the shows. TV show. Yeah, we can we can definitely do a show on that. TV show debuts. Let's see. Oh, ER debuted in 1994. Hmm. Interesting. I like ER better than Grey's Anatomy. See, I wasn't. I I I could never get in Grey's Anatomy, but I did watch ER. Mm-hmm. And that's only because my mama had the TV. Yeah, back in the day, it was your parents who had like that one TV. You, you had that 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 TV in the family room, man. That worked. Whatever they was, 
whatever they was watching, mm-hmm. that's what you was watching. Yeah. Friends well, debut. All... Friends. Friends. Okay. All that debuted in '94. Hey Arnold, gargoyles. Yeah. We we. It's, it's, it's some show. What is this? What is this? The Cosby Mysteries? We all know what happened on that show. Anyway. Uh, what is, uh, wait a minute. Fortune Teller. I don't know what that is. Fox NFL Sunday. Debuted in 1994. Really? Yes. That's wild. That's crazy. 30, yeah, 30 seasons. They're, they're celebrating 30 seasons. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. NBA on TBS de- debuted in 1994. NFL on Fox. What else? Well, we'll get to those shows when we talk about the top the 10. The Magic songs. School Bus. Yeah, I was about to drop that too. Like the Magic School Bus, which I didn't even know the, the voice actors from Detroit. Who, the lady? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know she was from Detroit. Oh, okay. They they went overboard. They put the buffs on her. They put the buffs on Miss Rizzo in that one picture. I said, okay, we're doing a little bit too much. <laughs> WCW All Nighter. <laughs> it was a six hour show on TBS. No wonder WCW went out of business. What? Yeah, it's a series of late night specials that aired on TBS. It was six hours with commercials. They say New York Undercover was 1994 to 2024. Who? What? What? Who? When? Undercover. Did they come back I, out? I know they were supposed to have been coming back out, but... I thought it ended in 99 or something like that. Yeah, it only had like four or five seasons. Cause it started getting stupid at the Torres died. I, mm-hmm. I didn't really watch that show like that. I might have to start watching New York Undercover. They say it was a really good show. No, it, it was. I'm gonna say this. It was. It was ahead of its time. Like it was a. Uh, it was who was that? Dick Fox. What he make or Dick Wolf or whatever? Yeah, Dick Wolf. He made Law and Order. Yeah, that was before Law and Law and Order, but it was ahead of its time for sure. Mm. That was one of my favorite shows as a kid, even though I was probably too young to realize, like, really know what the fuck was going on. But I like yeah. watching it. What, what happens to the bad guy? He's not on the show no more. <laughs> yeah. you know. And they had dog ass music. What what documentary was that? Was it 90s by CNN? Because they talked, I think it was the black. Black voices and TV on CNN. They talk about New York Undercover. And how they, had, they, they had some of the, the top artists, like jazz, R&B, whatever, mm-hmm. at the time, was on like New York Undercover. Like, I was, so, like, I was like, what? I gotta watch yeah, this show. Yeah, what do you see it at? It's on Fox, right? It's on it's on Peacock right now. Peacock, okay. And I, and I think it's on Amazon uh, Prime too. Okay. I might watch an episode tonight and just be like, okay. Yeah, I, 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 rewatched, I rewatched the first three seasons, and then after Torres died, I stopped watching. So just one, two, three? I mean, you can watch four and five, but it just, to me, I just didn't like how after Torres died, they hooked up, they Williams, his partner slash best friend, end up being with his wife. <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, nah, niggas, niggas ain't loyal. I can't watch this. <laughs> You say loyal? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so I gotta watch that. I started watching the because um, I like politics. I I watched the uh, I started watching the West Wing on HBO Max because I could never I had never liked that show when I was like a kid teenager. I was like, let's let's give it a try. You probably didn't because you couldn't understand it at the time. Like yeah, at the time when it came out, I was like eight nine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. Shows like I try to go back and watch shows when I watched them as a kid that I couldn't really like appreciate as a kid. Right. And you watch them as an adult, you see it in like a whole different perspective. 
and understanding because you understand exactly what the hell is going on. You know what I'm saying? As a kid, you like this is boring. Right, but, especially West Wing. West Wing was hella boring. And it was boring when I watched it as an adult. I was like, man, people were actually like anticipating episodes for this. Well, politics is boring in real life. Shit. Yeah, I think it's actually I think it's just like sports to me. I mean, you got some comedy moments in there for sure. Like, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's cool. Probably yeah, politics we, is... we we should definitely do that. Yeah, we're doing the we're doing a TV episode next week for sure. You said ninety four, right? Ninety four. Write it down. So thirty years. I, I will do my research tomorrow. 1994. And then we could do 2000. 2004? Yeah, 2004. I don't even want to think about 2014. That's wild. Keeping up with Kardashians or some shit. Who knows? Freshman year of college was. Man, that was my second year at Cedar Point, too. I was was working at the Power Tower. Oh, you worked at Cedar Point too with Chris? Mm-hmm. No, I worked first, and then Chris came the year after me. So he started in 2015. Because in 2015, I was working at uh, I was working on Belle Isle. At the zoo? And I was uh, I was one of the state workers working. Uh, I was mowing the lawns. Oh, you you the groundskeeper. I was out here. I was out here making sure them things, them lines were straight. <laughs> and the college right. jobs, man. You was on that big rider. No, I was on. I was on a John Deere, like a seventy-two inch John Deere riding mower. Somebody had like a tra- like a huge like tractor with the that was trailer in the lawnmower on the back. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, I can't do that. I'll be killing kids on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> they said this has to be cut today. <laughs> well, y'all gotta move. Yeah, better stay on that. Better stay on that swing. Don't jump off. You better hang on. Hang on that monkey bars. Just one more. Hold on, I gotta come yeah. back. <laughs> I went on that one thing. That the one that we have to climb up and spin it. You have to climb all the way to the top. It's like a. It's like a. The thing you spin, I, I, I don't know what But you got to hold on to it. You got to hold on. Like, while somebody's spinning you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's dangerous. I remember when they put that in in like 2006. I went on it like a few days ago. That thing is strong. <laughs> Wait, you just got your big ass on it? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm pushing 300. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, you got to I know <laughs> that that thing cannot hold me. <laughs> I went all the way to the top too. I was like, "This thing can hold me." Hmm. Then I was thinking, like, I might get hurt. But then I was like, you know what? Who cared to got me? Who cared got me? Yeah, I ain't thinking about getting on no type of playground. Nothing, especially over that Bell Isle. Like, that stuff's been there since I was a kid. That was twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. Was you able to get on the uh, giant slide? Yeah. When I was a okay. kid, the giant slide was open. And it was yellow. <laughs> Not, yeah. I don't know what this stuff is now. It's, it was it was like it was like rubber or something. Like not rubber, but plastic. It looked like there was some kind of padding on there. I don't know, but if you fell off that motherfucker, you were still uh skinny your shit. Yeah. You walked there. How'd you get that scar? Hey man. Going over to hey, Bell Isle, man. Hey, hey. You ain't go to <laughs> Bell Isle if you you ain't get on the big slide. You had to tell that story at Big Boy. He's like, hey man, I got this uh, I got this this right this here. You see this? Right here. Right? This right here. Yeah. This right here. They get you a free Sunday at Big Boy. <laughs> you got out. <laughs> like, oh poor baby. Here's a here's a small Sunday. <laughs> and a mild concussion. They turned that uh that church is into a uh, Mickey D's. Right there across uh the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is nice. That church is worth doing nothing. I mean, you know, what nobody that's all, you would see. that's all you would see on Belle Isle Beach is churches, chicken, rappers, and 
boxes and you know they weren't eating that chicken. Dead bodies, but uh, they were serving the seagulls to the seagulls. <laughs> Just watching them like, yeah, that was your cousin. Right. Watch them f- fly away with a fry. Back in the but, day. Back in the day. When the when the city owned Bell Island. Mm-hmm. When the city owned it, boy. Man. Some wild mm-hmm. times. You could, I'm about to say you could have did whatever. <laughs> you could have did whatever. The, the black police officers don't fuck with the force. We could do anything back here. <laughs> and they did do anything back then. If we'll get to that on another topic on another day. <laughs> I'm about to say you was, you was one of them, huh? Mm. Oh, I wasn't doing nothing back there, but we're going to move on to <laughs> the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Detroit Lions, last time they won a playoff game uh, as, a, as a home seed, um, it was January 5th, 1992, against the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I'm going to take it way back. The last time that Detroit won a playoff game in the city limits of Detroit was 19, 1957 Damn. at Briggs Stadium, a.k.a. Tiger Stadium. Damn. Trumbull? Trumbull and Michigan. Brick. Brick streets. Brick mm. paved streets. Oh, ooh, Jesus. Man. And actually, there was a, a season's ticket holder who was at the game on Sunday. Yeah, 66. 66 years, man. Years. That man should be grandfathered into whatever price. Man. Like, bro. Give him 60- his own sleep. Six, the, you feel me? Like you were here since the beginning, <laughs> since not since the fifty seven championship. Yeah, nigga, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you you ain't got your name on your seat. Right. Like at that point, you got to have your name on your seat. Like, yeah, well, this is such and such chair. Like he, these is even, even if you ain't here, don't sit there. That's don't sit there. Yeah, shit. At that point, man. I'm just glad that the Lions won, and we're moving on to the next round, which should have been Dallas's. But ball don't lie, ball hey. don't lie. Decker reported. Listen here, sorry. man. Dallas is, is the same old Dallas that they is every year, bro. I don't. I don't know why people set their expectations so high for Dallas, and just to be let the fuck down. Like as a Dallas fan, you just gotta just be like, you damn near. You almost in the same boat as a Detroit Lions fan. Like as a Cowboy fan. What? No, nah, bro. Listen. <laughs> I guess I see it. Because Lions fans every year set their expectations so fucking high just to be let the fuck down. So do the Cowboys. They do the same thing. They be, oh, we're going to the Super Bowl this year. At least the Lions be like, shit, we going to the playoffs. We don't say Super Bowl. We say hey, we I'm we saying Super Bowl this year. What you mean? I mean, next year we now we can Am say, I hey, delusional? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Cowboys we got a chance. Like, Cowboys be like, we got the best team every year. We going to the Super Bowl, and and then they always a first round exit or don't make the fucking playoff. Like my my thing is that the the Dallas Cowboys played Carolina twelve times. That's why they were 12 and 5. They literally played Carolina Panthers 12 times. And they're puffing their chest up like, who we them boys? And then you go against San Francisco, get your ass beat. Get blown the fuck out. You go against Detroit and have a ref save your ass. Like, were you, you really them boys? The, they go against a quality team. They was they were shitty. Mm-hmm. They went against Seattle, almost got beat. Yeah, a quality team. It's like, dang. Seattle was what one game out the playoff? Mm-hmm. They're in the same boat as Green Bay. <laughs> Green Bay or Seattle. Green Bay or Seattle. Yeah. Which in the in the long run, like I'm glad that Green Bay got it because that ass whooping was karma to the fullest. Well then then again, shit, Seattle might have gotten that ass too. They would have as soon as they like they picked off those two. Throws, I'm like, uh oh, is Harbaugh in the in the audience? I see side stealing. 
<laughs> they figure this out. Like it was like mind blowing the way they beat Dallas. I was like, what is going on? Like CD Lamb can't get a catch. <laughs> Cause they I had him in my car. They locked this ass up. I was like, if no one else catches the ball, CD Lamb's gonna catch the ball. But that's the He's thing, though. Ball. Like with Dallas, like if if CD if CD Lamb not having a good game, Dallas don't know what the fuck to do. Mm-hmm. Cause it seems right. like that's Deck don't know who else to pass that bitch to. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> Gallup. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Shoemaker? Ah. Of course it's over there. Give it Cook? to Pollard? Brandon Cooks? I don't Cook. think so. Cooks was always covered. They were, like, literally like, hey, th- yeah, th- throw it to C.D. Lamb. See what happens. And they got picked twice. <laughs> That's because they were doubling his ass the whole game. Mm-hmm. We did the same thing to uh, Aaron Donald. We even tripled him, too. Oh, yeah. They tri- yeah, they doubled and triple teamed him a couple times. Which was crazy because they were triple teaming Aaron Donald, and and he was still having time to. And to, he had he had time to go up to Lefty's cheesesteak along the back end zone, get a cheesesteak, come all the way back down and throw the pass. Yeah, hey. I was like, and we didn't have our defense for Tampa Bay earlier in the season. Just to let you know, we didn't have our cornerbacks, our two safeties, and our two uh, offensive. Uh, Guards, like Sue was out, and I think um, I think uh, I think uh, Ragnar was out. Ragnar was out, or Decker. It's either one of the two, because they always get injured. <laughs> I'm about to say Decker. I know Decker or Ragnar. They be out all the time. Mm-hmm. They were out for Tampa's game, so we have everybody for this game. So I'm very scared for Tampa Bay. I'm actually scared for San Francisco. Cause Green Bay lit Dallas up. Yeah, they did. They... It might, it might, you know, it might be a Green Bay, Detroit Lions NFC Championship. Ooh, in Detroit, in Detroit. Ooh. Which means I gotta get ticket. Ooh, which mean, boy, you about to spend your life savings? Yes, I am. That shit gonna be about twelve hundred dollars. Man, the hotels for Vegas were eleven hundred. The Bellagio was eight hundred, eleven hundred. Listen, I had I had looked, I had looked at the beginning of the season, like you know, because they announced where the Super Bowl gonna be the next year. Mm-hmm. And dog, when I tell you the Red Roof Inn in Vegas was charging four hundred dollars a night, not the Red Roof Inn. The Red Roof Inn <laughs> was charging four hundred dollars a night, bro. Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Can't even stay at a. We can't even stay at a motel, bro. A bitch. <laughs> you tell you telling me that means the hoes can't even work that night. They can't no. even. They're breaking even. <laughs> hey, they gonna they might have a busy night. Who knows? It's gonna be a busy night in Vegas. Yeah, I wouldn't mind just going down there just to be. That's what I said. I just, I just want to be there. Do, if the Lions know, go, yeah, I was looking like I know I ain't gonna make it to the game, but we can have a super. We we can get a suite in a hotel somewhere, like you know, presidential suite, whole Super yeah. Bowl party. Yeah, that's about that's about twelve thousand. No, no, we're gonna be at the Red Roof <laughs> for four hundred dollars. <laughs> that's going uh, a suite at the Red Roof going for twelve hundred then. Twelve hundred. Man, you park your car right next to the door. <laughs> and one, right there. You ain't you ain't even gotta go inside the motel. Your your room is, <laughs> is right there. You gotta scan to get in, you know. <laughs> yeah, crazy. it'd be it'd be tripping because when did I go down? I went to Vegas for one of, I went to Vegas for the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight when they had their fight. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, I think I spent just on rooms alone, like five hundred dollars, and I was there for like three nights. That's not bad. When you can go to, I normally, I get, I get, I, I gamble so much. I get oh, free. Oh, you stay in a hotel, hotel. Yeah, I stay on the strips. Like okay, because, so what, which which hotel did you stay at? Did you stay at like the? Uh, where was I? Where did I stay at? Mandalay Bay. No, <laughs> hell no, that was nigga. Sands. 
I stayed at the uh, when I oh, went. I stayed at the Luxor. The Luxor, okay, the the pyramid one. Yeah, so I normally can get a, a room there for like, depending on when I go, thirty five to most of it be like fifty dollars a night, because most of my shit be comp. True. So that shit was like, trying to go with you two hundred something dollars a night. I was like, yo, y'all tripping me. But I paid it. I paid it. Sorry. Hmm. If people just, are really going to go out there and just drop, what was it, $8,000 for a ticket, they probably buy more tickets for other people, spend money on the hotel, then they got to get there, which is going to cost another $1,000. You know, them, you know the flights is, is, is jacked up that weekend, too. Spirit was like, it was like 500 600 To go to Vegas? Yeah. That weekend. Man, you could get hop on Spirit and go to Vegas for $50 round trip. I'm about to go there and be like, all right, I'm staying here for two weeks <laughs> on the $50 flight. Get there two <laughs> weeks early. <laughs> and be like, ah, let's see the sights. I got nothing but time. Actually, at this point, you might as well just go to the Pro Bowl in, in Orlando for way cheaper. Mm, Even though they, they're, they're going to jack their prices up. But Orlando ain't Vegas. It's not. Plus, they're playing flag football. Nobody want to see that shit. I'm not there for the Pro Bowl. I'm just, I'm just there. <laughs> I'm just there at that point. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Lions play at 3 p.m. this Sunday at Ford Field against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sorry, Tampa, you're about to die. That's all I gotta say. Let's get this dub. Let's get this dub. Go to the NFC Championship. Against either the San Francisco 49ers or the Green Bay Packers. Or the Green Bay Packers. That actually scares me. I actually would rather go against San Francisco the way they've been playing. Yeah. Because our yeah. corners are shit. Oh, they get cooked. And Dallas had good corners and they still got beat. They, they got them, man. Well, no, nah, because they best corner been out all year. That is true. Uh, what's his name? Trayvon uh, Diggs, Diggs was yeah, Trayvon Diggs, Diggs got hurt. Yeah, so Jordan Love looked like a black Aaron Rodgers out there. I oh, he saying. was out there. He, he was out there willing and dealing, boy. He was doing off the back foot. Just I was saying, I was like, I was in my bed, like, no way. I was yeah. like, go, Pat, go. <laughs> I was really cheering for the Packers. I was like, yeah, I think a lot of people it. was just cause, just so so they can beat the Cowboys. I had to close my, I just shut my blinds so no one can see me cheering for the Packers. <laughs> Psychologist. But anyway, if we win the championship, hey, if we go to the Super Bowl, I'm finding a way to get to Vegas. I will try. So long, bye. Uh. Yeah. Sleep in your car? Mm-hmm. I'll sleep in my car. Go, I did ahead, get, go ahead and get you a Planet Fitness membership so you can take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the old, the old California hobo thing. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So why do so many people working out? They're not working out. They're just trying to. They're just getting the one place. You know, they just, they just, they just sitting people. here eating these free free fruities, getting their massage. The free, grape, the free grape and orange fruities. <laughs> getting their massage and taking a shower. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of food, McDonald's is bringing back the double Big Mac next week. The double Big Mac. Double Big Mac. When did they have that? I have no idea. That sounds like that sounds like some early nineties fat people shit when they was doing super size. The super size meals, yeah. That's why I was like they should just bring back the super size meal if we're doing that. Well, you know, they just made everything bigger. Yeah. They're trying to be healthy, but they want to bring back nostalgia, which doesn't really make sense. But because nostalgia was not healthy at all. At all. You talk about horse meat. You talk about pink goo. I don't you know. Just said, you just said a double Big Mac. Like the Big Mac isn't big enough. <laughs> like, 
What the fuck? So it's two patties on at the top and bottom? Yeah. That's wild. And people will buy them. Like the, the, the chicken nugget meal has gone up to eleven something. So that's I stopped eating at McDonald's a long time ago. Listen here, bro. I remember when that shit was two fifty. Fan. Like you could do you get a whole large meal for like, like five dollars. I'm gonna tell you right now, make in high school, McDonald's was the spot for me. You telling me I can go get me two bad chickens, a small fry, and a large drink for four dollars. Four dollars. And they'd be like, have a nice day. Four dollars, bro. <laughs> now I order that same shit. They'd be like, yeah, twenty dollars. You'd be like, whoa. And whoa. smile. And don't give you sauce. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Whoa, boy. Cause that was my go-to. My thing is like you go to McDonald's, you're paying twenty dollars. Like, I might as well go to a regular restaurant. You might as well. I might as well go. I might as well go to a sit-down restaurant. Dog, at that point, you might as well do a sit-down restaurant. I hate it when you go into a rest a fast food restaurant. They have like four people sitting doing nothing at the cashier at the cashier's table, but they tell you to go and do the stuff on the kiosk. Go do the kiosk. Yeah, but you're right there. You're literally right here. You could just take my order. And you can do it five minutes faster than I could do it on the kiosk. Because some of the kiosks might be broke, so that you still got to go up there and pay for the shit that you ordered on the kiosk. Right. Then it'd be like cash or car. If you got cash, you got to go to the thing. You got to go up to the thing anyway. So you might as well go to the thing. Hey, man. That's what. Then they get an attitude. They'd be mad. Then it was like, well, I don't sure why I gotta do it. Cause it's your job. Like, like, all I want was a small fry. And if you don't have like like food like DoorDash or Uber Eats, you can't navigate the kiosk. Like older people can't navigate that. They're like, well, no. how do I do this? So it's like it's it's a it's a generation gap. In a minute, there's gonna be robots back there making your food. So shoot, you better than them. Okay. We got David Norday on the show coming in all late and stuff, but that's okay. You made it. I can't hear you. Better late than never. Unmute yourself. Okay. I was asleep. I understand, man. I was asleep too until like eight o'clock, but it's okay. It's too cold. I came, I came home and took a nap. Exactly. I came home. It was the firm, the thermostat was not on at my house. So I had to turn on the heat. And then get in my bed and make a whole burrito, like, and walk around the house looking like a burrito. I make hot cocoa and everything. Why you ain't had the heat on? What you done I had, had it for me? Why is you? I had to? I had it on like seventy two, but it wasn't like you can't turn it on so much that the heat turns on. So I had to turn it on to like eighty or something, so it could be like full blast. And it took like an hour to get the whole house. Warm. So, that's my life in a nutshell on Tuesday. <laughs> ah, I miss those days, but I don't miss those days. You had to turn on the oven, you know, turn on the oven to keep the house warm. You know, keep the house warm. Those, are, warm. those were the days. Because the lights was off, so the gas, that the the oven stove was gas. Oh no, I, my my house had an electric. Oh, so if the electric to if the electricity went out, oh, in the in a winter storm, oh, talk about straight out of luck. Oh no, see, we had we had gas though, so we just just like hit the hit the switch and then hit light the, the thing at the. At mm -hmm. the oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, it's a whole thing. All right, dude. Your phone is echoing. There we go. He turned on and muted. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we talked about McDonald's bringing back the Big Mac. Um, we talked about travel, uh, Chuck. Um, a new rule requires travelers from the U.S. and Canada to show Brazil that they have at least $2,000 in their bank accounts to enter the country. Well, why? I have no idea. Why two thousand dollars though? Like, why do I need so much? I have no 
I do. Ask Brazil. Wait, two thousand dollars? Two thousand dollars in your in your bank account. Who they think we are? Chelsea Clinton. First of all, Chelsea Clinton is way more than two thousand dollars in the bank account, but seven million dollars. We're talking about Chelsea Clinton. We're talking about yeah. What was that? Uh, that was Rush Hour One. Rush Hour One. Yeah, that was was one. (laughs) I remember they did the the outtakes at the end. They were like, "Who who's the president's daughter?" (laughs) <laughs> yeah that's crazy though two thousand like damn at least two thousand so you gotta have two thousand just blank like if you have one thousand nine hundred ninety nine you'd be like all right you better get a cent somewhere they tired of y'all motherfuckers coming over there broke as hell stealing all their women that part <laughs> these american niggas but hey I never seen a Brazilian woman I didn't like, but it's okay. Um, hmm. guess, guess I better get my money up. Uh, South Korea just passed a law banning the sale of dog meat. They just banned the sale. So if you went to Banchan Chicken over the weekend, you probably had dog meat. You say South Korea? South Korea. Yeah, the founders of Samsung. Hmm. Have been eating dog meat this entire time. Oh, well, I don't put that shit past them. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Don't put it past them. All right, we're going to talk about stupid people real quick. Before we get to stupid criminals, which there are two this week, we're going to talk about some rejected Michigan license plate names that were rejected by the Secretary of State. Uh, we have It's Huge. Like ITS H U G E straight across. It's huge. That was definitely rejected by the Secretary of State. Maybe he got a big card. Hey, I don't know. They ain't got a car associated with it. They just have the license. You know what I'm Maybe, maybe you drive a, a, a suburban XL or something. You know what I'm saying? And you just. It's huge. He's, he's just talking about his truck. I don't know. I don't know, Chuck. Hey, what'd you say, David? They're too grown for that. (laughs) No, they're not, apparently. (laughs) It was like, they went to the Secretary of State, was like, yeah, let me see if this one works. (laughs) They were like, she said, sir, redo this. I would have used some numbers. Oh, like, it's huge, like, with numbers? Yeah. They got three, a one, a three. What's a T in numbers, though? Nah, it would have just been a T. Also, oh, one T three H H U six H H. No, nah, just use the three instead of the at the for the E, and then the one for the I, and then that's it. Okay. Just I don't know. <laughs> Dave, I mean, like, crack it up. <laughs> He frozen, yeah. Oh, I was he, say he frozen. He, he, but I mean, question. I don't know. Mm-mm. What I, I would have had to get creative with it, or use the nine for the G. The nine for the G. Yeah, I don't even know anymore. Uh, we have two sexy for you. So t- the the number two, S E X, C, the number four, and the letter U. <laughs> two sexy for you. That's creative. It was that's good. I, that's, I, I, that's I, I, creative. I mean, but you you still gonna have to think about it if you if you if you driving behind somebody, that's not just gonna come straight to your head like that's what they're trying to say. Right. You'll be like, damn, what? Like that's- oh, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like that's let me give you something to think about while you're driving behind them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why, let me try to figure out this motherfucker license plate. What is he trying to say? I'd be like, why is he in the dealership so long? <laughs> He's trying to figure out how to get this in seven letters. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Whole list. Whole list? Whole less. H O E L E S S. Whole list. Like 
Yes, you you've been rejected, sir. I need you to hold less. <laughs> okay, the next one is please shut the fuck up. So PLS STFU. <laughs> Whoever's <laughs> rejecting these things are like are like young because if you're old, they'd be like, all right, let's get it over with. I mean, that don't even. But you like in real life, who is putting that together as as shut the fuck up? Like you know what I'm saying? Like like you say, it got to be somebody young. Yeah, please shut the fuck up. That's a dog. I I don't even want to say this one. I fondle. That's a pedophile. I F O N D L E. <laughs> Definitely a pedophile. That's a pedophile. Oh, uh, this one is definitely from the hood. 69 forever. 69, the number four in an E V Come on, guys. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. We got to do better as a culture, y'all. That probably wasn't even us. I ain't even going to lie. Ain't no, ain't no, first of all, black You're people right. don't, black people really don't pay that much money for, for them personal license plates. That shit is. I did. Yeah. You don't mind it's crisscross, so. Right. You're not a typical Negro, though. I'm not. You're right. Go ahead. Keep going. You Keep know. Going. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I don't want to be a Negro. <laughs> you know, but we ain't paying that extra money for that personal shit. Not for how much it not, was, especially not if it's on no regular car. Now, if it's on like a sports car or something, then then we'll do it. But but mm-hmm. like nigga, for for a fucking equal knots that I'm driving, no, I'm good. Equal <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, quickie. Mm. So Q U one. CK one E. See, it gotta be somebody. It gotta be somebody young. That's 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 denying this. Yeah, quick and yeah, quickie. We have limp dick. So we have L one M P D C K. Like damn, that's like, tough. Right, like why would you have a license plate that says limp dick? <laughs> That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. These are white people. Most definitely. Definitely, white people. definitely from the mountains of Caucasus. Hey, Marcel's on the show. Marcel, what's up? Because <laughs> first of all, black people already know we ain't driving through the suburbs with no license plates like that. Nope. Shoot. And we, and we better make sure that light is on over the license plate too. And you got your registration and insurance ready at all times. Oh, no. In the glove department and the trunk. And not to mention, we will never put ourselves out there, especially towards our. Uh... Now, I, was, I was driving down Lakeshore Drive at like 930 at night. I was like, wait a minute, where's my registration? It's hey. random thoughts come in your head. Like, where's my registration? Hey, just in case. Where's my license? Is my license glove in compartment <laughs> or glove compartment or. They gotta find a way to miniaturize it, like a like like a small sheet. In fact, put on the back of a, your driver's license. That'll be so much simpler. You know what? I think we're the only culture that calls it the glove department. I'm just saying. I don't think it's called a glove department. It's called something. I'm not sure. But seriously, put the registration on oh, something box. I think something box. Speaking about box, uh, the the last one is a uh, hold on. Actually, yeah, the last one is ram it in. Oh, cripes. He was R-A- probably in a Ram truck. <laughs> probably, but R-A-M 1-T-1-N. He, he, he was place. definitely in a Ram. Off he that was place. definitely in a big horn. Why he's on the bullshit. That's true. Ram it in. No, so it's it's two patties, uh, Chuck. Two patties. On one side of the middle piece, and then two patties on the other side. That's what so I said. Four, two patties on, on top patties. and bottom, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's four patties. What are you guys talking about? This is the uh, McDonald's is bringing back the double Big Mac. Oh hell, your heart won't work. 
God damn it, Marcel. <sighs> Our heart will not work. Are you sick of Earth? Try the double Big Mac. I'm surprised they didn't put a chick. I'm I'm surprised they didn't put a chicken patty on that thing. In the middle, instead of the the extra piece of bread. Yeah, make it That's a, a bad idea. Make it a gang bang. True. You know. You know what? I I I, I gathered together with my uh, Caucasian uh, coworkers today. So they said, make a casserole with turducken for the Super Bowl, and I was like. Why would I do that? Like, cheese, they said, take all the meats from the duck, the chicken, and the turkey. Like, take I, it all, so this big old thing of, of meat, and just make a casserole. I said, I you know what? I've never heard of serving no casserole at a Super Bowl party. That's one. But then I was like, let's take it a step further. Let's take it a little bit more white. Let's make a buffalo turducken dip. Now, that. Wait, hold up. It's some white people shit. Wait, 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 hold up. They might have something there. They might have something there. No, I came up with it. You might have something over here. I was like, that might be the move. But I'm not sure how Buffalo and Duck are going to get together. <laughs> you going to get together? Yeah, because remember, Duck is dark meat. That's true. It's just like, what? And, that, <laughs> not, up- that's a lot of, and not to mention paws. That's a lot of meat, cheese, and all that on there. Hey, man, you're doing it for the Super Bowl. Hey, 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 just set me up with some wings, a little pizza slice, and we'd be on our way. One yeah. little pizza slice? Hey, I'm go- hey, hey, you got to treat it like Thanksgiving. Got to come back with little plates. That way you don't look like a total slob. <laughs> My thing is, like, pizza's so heavy. True. Like, if I could do a Super Bowl party without pizza... It just have like wings and like the other stuff on. I'll be good. Bigger foods and stuff. I can just keep going back and forth. It's a whole thing. But casserole? Hey, casserole? they brought it up. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do. Because they said they put all the meat in this big dish. And I was like, you might as well just make a dip out of it. I, and I was seen, like, buffalo turducken dip. I, I've seen the process of a turducken. It's, it's pretty elaborate. <laughs> yeah, I'm good on a turducken. <laughs> Yeah. It's actually pretty good, Chuck. His stomach, stomach probably going to be bubbling. Bubbling. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> anyway. Speaking of crazy things that happen around the world, stupid criminals in Detroit. I like okay. that one. You, you just got on right on time. I, I like- he really did. I like to add a event that happened. What happened? Somebody got caught selling ten, probably ten thousand dollars worth of fake Lions playoff gear. <laughs> they did. They they swarmed his car. They swarmed his tent downtown. I saw it in person. <laughs> like they had like over ten thousand dollars worth of goods. Got 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 confiscated. There was this guy like in you know where that those fount those like pedestrian parks are between like Comerica and like the other side of Woodward. Yeah, I used to yeah, I used to work around there. There was a guy with a booth with like Detroit Lions are going to the Super Bowl and the police just hey. surrounded his tent. And- <laughs> you know damn well they didn't get the script. <laughs> I was like, somebody got the NFL script this year. Because <laughs> we wanted the Super Bowl, this is just a wild card game. But I mean, this would have happened if the NFL would diversify their uh, T-shirt sizes because they only go up to like three X or four yes. X, something like that. No two X, no. I, th- I thought they did go up to three X, four X. Yeah, yeah. Because they have those, they have the jerseys, right? But I see a whole bunch of fat people walking into Ford Field. That's that because that's all they can wear. Like, what? What do you want? What do you? What do you expect? 3X people to, you said the jerseys, the XL, shirts? XLT for the tall people. Who's it's, wearing a t-shirt? We wearing jerseys. It's slim pick. I'm wearing a t-shirt. I ain't trying to be no side. I ain't trying to look like no side bitch, all right? <laughs> I'm not a side bitch. 
But anyway, we have a um, Missouri math teacher was arrested on seven, on four warrants for messing around with a 16-year-old student. Was she white? <laughs> yes, yeah, she was. The teacher, I mean. Yes, yeah, she was white. What's with what's with what's with adults trying to steady fuck these kids? I have no idea. What's the goal here? We have no idea. What's what's the end? What's the end game? Are you that bored with life that you go <laughs> diddle with these kids? I mean, are you not that confident to like have sex with a grown woman? I mean, come on now. I mean, grown man or grown woman, but I have no idea. I just think it's sick. It's unethical and it's sick. Sick and an ass whooping. But uh, this is this is probably going to get the nomination for the end of the year candidate too. Oh shoot! I'm bringing out all the all the candidates this year. We have a 72 year old, a 71 year old man. He was a serial bank robber. He was in jail for 40 years in a federal prison. Federal? What, but what bank he robbed? Any bank is federal. Any bank, a bank is federal. But yeah. he just got released. And once he got released, guess what this nigga did? Don't tell me he robbed a bank. He robbed a bank and got arrested. Chuck. He did all that. <laughs> he did all that. <laughs> Like, you just spent 40 years. 40 years. My man said, let me see if I still got it. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm holding this place up. Hi, officer. <laughs> like, there you go. You know, he was geriatric and arthritic like a mug, too. 71 years old. Hey, and my man said he had better living in there than he did out here, so I'm going to just head back. Head on back. Mm-mm-mm. Are we just going to... You did your time. You did 40 years. Damn. 40? 40 years. Like, you need to, you learn your lesson after day one. Just how many? Well, I mean, I'm going to just say this. I'm going to say this. Maybe he just, when he got out, he ain't had nobody out here. So, shit. All his, all his friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, all his, everybody he knows is inside. So, inside, dead, or retired. No, they probably oh, dead. Boy. Most of them probably shit in real life probably dead. Probably yeah. dead from the eighties, yeah. That's you got a thing. For, he probably he went in there when he was maybe what thirty. Thirty, so, and that was that. That was the mid the mid eighties, eighty four. So so ain't no telling if he ever like had kids, got a wife. You know what I'm saying? So shit. He was doing this for shit and giggles. Mm-hmm. Well, we giggling because he's a candidate for stupid. Criminals in Detroit. That's up Poor there. Brother. Poor brother, man. Poor brother. That's up there for show. Yeah, the shoes. But I go to jail for bank robbing and I get out at 40 years. The last thing I'm thinking about is robbing bank credit robbing. union. My- <laughs> God dang, myself. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's nothing he could, I mean, there's nothing he could do. He about like what fifty something. <laughs> Job market ain't looking that good. <laughs> I'm still getting real out here. I mean, no. What what type of work? What type of work experience you got? Well, I've been making uh, license plates for forty years. I've been made. I made the lip dick license plate. You know that lip dick license plate? That me. That was me. That was me. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> and you just see the mailman just like pointing at him like I got your license at that license plate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you the real MVP. Yeah, shout out to all the prisoners making the license plates for 61 cents an hour. I just I don't think they do that anymore. Yeah, you'd be surprised what they do in federal prison. Yeah, hey, I mean we so far up in technology, they might automate it. Man. That's gonna be the worst look. You work in automate prison. No, you, you <laughs> working in prison. You doing the bid. You making license plate. Just pretty much having the time of your life. Blah blah blah. You go there next day and you see this motherfucking three D printer just pressing them license plate out. Keep it like, man. What do I do for the next twenty five years? 
Nigga, nigga got laid off from his, laid off his federal jail. prison job. Get it laid <laughs> off in prison is wild. <laughs> it is. Like, like, man, that's the reason I got put in prison. The job market sucks. I got laid off my other job. I had to shit. I had to rob somebody to, to make some money. Now I gotta right. rob. Now I gotta rob the jail. <laughs> you gotta rob the the snack shop. <laughs> but the seriously, that is. The commissary <laughs> story, shit. That is wild. <laughs> That's wild. Mm-hmm. Speaking of wild, we got to do our top 25 songs turning 50. Now, these songs, man. You might know them, Chuck. You might not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm calling out Chuck today. You might know them. You might not. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, All right, so we got honorable mentions. We have How Long by Ace. How st- long is this list? What would you say? What is this list? 25 songs turning 50 in 2024. Oh, damn. Basil. So we're, going, we're going back to 1974. The, uh, a great, a, a great decade of music right there. 70s in general. That's true. Uh, we have How Long by Ace. We have Jackie Blue by the Ozark Mountain De- Daredevils. We have Can't Get Ooh. You Out of My Head by Electric Light yeah. Orchestra. Yeah, yeah, that title, that 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 uh, that band sounds about white. It is very white. I was about to say, that shit white as hell. Uh, Jackie Blue. <clears throat> do, do, do. Made up in a white room with white, <clears throat> with white folks. Uh, we have, <clears throat> we white have Fox on the Run. By Sweet. We have Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. Oh boy. And Bungle in the Jungle by Jethro Tull. Sweet Home Alabama mentions. was your honorable mention? Yes. Because I hate Leonard Skinner. Oh, okay. So did the plane. Shut up, Marcel. That was mean. <laughs> that was so mean. <laughs> the plane did hate them. <laughs> Three of their members died in the plane crash. <laughs> Shout out to Leonard Skinner. <laughs> the first was John O. Kennedy. Now you're killing Leonard Skinner myself. <laughs> it's not my fault. He took the wrong time to do a car ride. Hey, I'm just saying. Should have had that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Top 25. We have Cats in the Cradle by Harry Chapin. Cats in the cradle in the silver spoon. Lay the boy blue and the man in the moon. That's that song. We'll All get right. together then. 24. <sighs> it's just the other day. That song. Come on, come on, Chuck. You're killing me. Um, <clears throat> 24, we have Laughter in the Rain by Neil Sedeka. That's a white people song. You probably won't know that. This whole um, white people. Come on. Uh, 23, we have Skin Tight by Ohio Players. Oh, yeah, that's definitely white. Ohio Players were black. Stop it. Skin Tight? Skin Tight? The bass line on that song is crazy. I have to listen to it. Oh, my gosh. I'll put the, I'll put the list up on the Facebook page. Um, Number 22, we have Sideshow by Blue Magic. So I know a, I know a blue magic back at the gas station. Wow. Blue magic is what I used to put in my hair back in the yeah, day. The blue, yeah, the blue magic, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you myself. <laughs> I got I, I got I got it. I got it. <laughs> my sister uses that stuff, so yeah. Oh damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, number twenty one is hey, the bitches. Hey, that's the bitches back. But then uh, that Palmer's lotion that or true. Queen Helene. Number twenty one is the bitches back by Elton John. Number twenty, we have Walking in Rhythm by the Blackbirds. No, they weren't. Walking in Rhythm, the Blackbirds. No, Chris, no, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't. That was a black no. group. 
No, 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 they weren't. All right, number 19, we have Just Don't Want to Be Lonely by The Main Ingredient. We have number 18, Black Water by The Doobie Brothers. That sounds nasty. Number 17, we have Never Can Say Goodbye by Gloria Gaynor. Wasn't that, uh, wasn't that, uh, didn't the Jackson 5 cover that? I was going to say Jackson 5 covered it, right? Or is that another song? Mm, I think Jackson 5 was the original people to uh, sing the song. Then Isaac Hayes wrote it, I mean, made it, and then Gloria Gaynor did it. Oh, so it's a, so it's like a, it's a cover of a cover of a cover. Cover, 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 cover. cover. Uh, number 16, we have Boogie on Reggae Woman by Stevie Wonder. Finally. Get some good music out here. Uh, number 15, we have Loving You by Minnie Ripperton. I still can't hit that note. You talking about that air? That, that, that air note? Yeah. There's only Nobody a few people who can. Nobody can hit that note. No, nobody can do that. Not even uh, Michael Jackson. Not even people that do the falsetto. There's a few people. Good. There's a few people who can do that air note. Like five. Mar- Mariah could do it back in back in her younger days. Yeah, it's, it's, it was a few. Like we're talking about like five percent. Yeah, not less than five. What you mean? That's um, generous. There was some chick on the Voice who hit it not too long ago. She was like, yeah. "Here's the I, thing. I got a whistle. Yeah, that whistling, that whistle note. Yeah. Here's the thing. If you're gonna do that song, you gotta do it right. Got to do it justice. True. You can't just be some geek off the street singing that song, all right? Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. <laughs> That's a really good written song, I'm just saying. Very, very. Uh-huh. Speaking of good written song, number 14, we have Can't Get Enough of Your Love by Barry White. Can't get enough of your love, baby. Can't get enough of your love, baby. Baby, you know what? <laughs> What? what the fuck? No, that's what he does. Oh, baby. You know what? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Let the music play. All right, anyway. <laughs> Number 13. We have Fire by the Ohio Players. Fire. Yeah. Down, down, down. This was the decade of the baseline. Mm-hmm. Boom. Um, twelve. You you haven't done nothing by Stevie Wonder. Damn. I don't think I... dun, dun. Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, that's from the the uh, his second album of the year album. Not songs of life, but uh, I think I... the first finale. That that's that that one. You talking about the one with the Aquarian cover? Mm, I believe so. This first uh, first fulfilling this finale. That's that's the album. All right. Uh, number eleven, "Summer Madness" by Cool in the Gang. Also sampled for one of the best summertime songs in history. Yeah. Summertime, summertime, Will summertime. Will Smith. It took me a long time to figure out what song they sample because it, when you're young, you're like, okay, I don't care. But when you're old, it's like, they sample cool in the game. <laughs> These motherfuckers sample cool. Hey man, somebody sampling somebody all the time. Yeah. They either use a, they're either covering or sampling. That's how music gets around. Nowadays, they don't even care. They just, they'll just play the whole song and just rap over it. They just, I'm about to say, they take the beat, the whole everything, and just be like, what well, they might. They might either speed it up, slow it down, or like change like the drums just a little bit or something. Just just tweak it just a little bit. No, I, I've listened to a couple of songs that they just straight up stole. No, no, it's it's a couple of songs that they did just take the whole beat and was just heard like, of, uh, right. y'all heard of uh, Wild Thoughts by uh, Rihanna and DJ Khaled? Oh yeah, that's Maria Maria. That's straight Maria Maria. No, no, he had he tweaked it a little bit. He tweaked it a little bit. No, he took the whole chorus, the whole thing. <laughs> he tweaked it a little the whole bit. guitar <laughs> solo. <laughs> he said it low. He did. He did tweak it a little bit, but you know. Mm-hmm. I remember I was in the car with one of the one of the students, uh, Chuck, 
and we were listening to um, it was blow the whistle, and then he thought it was a the the uh, the the sweetie song. Oh no, sweetie <laughs> song. What which one? Um, shoot. check 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 in. Oh, check. Uh, oh, it was um, what was it called? Tap in, tap in by Sweetie. Oh, oh no! <laughs> he was singing the whole verse. I was like, no, no, no! This, this is just blow the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> our generation, the gener- Oh, okay. this our, this my generation. Hey yo, this is your generation. Hey, hey yo, we doomed. <laughs> we are doomed. If you don't know blow the whistle, you are, blow the- you are lost. Blow the whistle. Your parents has failed you if you have they never failed. heard blow the whistle. Blow the whistle, back that ass up, and knock if you buck or like top three. You play that at a party, you straight for the rest of the night. Rest of the night? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, so throw a little hot in here. In, in there. Hot in here. Oh, yeah. Actually, Nelly had some hits, okay? Man, Nelly man, a lot hits. of people were sleeping on Nelly. Mm hmm. I do not a Shanti, not a Shanti. They just had a baby, but oh, they're about to have a baby. Boy, he a lucky man. He shot in before me. Even his girlfriend before Shanti was bad too. I was like, God, late. Shanti, a uh, Shanti been bad. I'm just saying. I know a Shanti has always been bad, but his girlfriend before Shanti was. Bad. I know Nick. Niggas was tripping about her sideburns back in the day. I ain't care about that. I didn't care. Who the Shanti? Yeah, you know Shanti yeah. had. A- Shanti had them thick ass sideburns back in the day. Mm-hmm. I ain't care about that. Nobody cared about that. She was bad. I mean, when you said when you're standing next to Ja Rule, all that goes out the window. True. Winning lady, unless you won 80. Hmm. Two ten, catch a boy in. Hey. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, thank, thank the Lord for Shannon Sharp, man. We it's, it's just a blessing. TMB, baby. <laughs> uh, All right, top ten songs turning fifty in twenty twenty four. Number ten, we have "Do It Till You're Satisfied" by BT Express. Do it, do it, do it, do 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 what? Do it till you're satisfied. That 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 means a lot of things. No, it means do it till you're satisfied. And he said, whatever it is. And it's the 70s. So we know what they were talking about. Oh, yeah. They were making babies left and right. Hell, yeah. Especially in the 70s. He's talking about do cocaine and everything else until you're satisfied. Pull up to my bumper, baby. You know what they was talking about. Everything. In the back. Shoot. Anyway. Number nine, we have Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas. Cool. Everybody can just say that. Uh, can I just say that is a very, it feels like a very racist song. It is. Like, if you, in, you know, in, in 2024 standards, it's a very racist. It's a very ge- like generalized song. Ali, like this would not get any radio play <laughs> whatsoever. No, it won't. There was funky China made from funky Chinatown. The whole Asian they were country. chopping them boards. They were chopping them down. <sighs> it's such a, it's such like a, like the Chinese restaurant in a, in the hood. <laughs> That's what he was. He basically did the music video. <laughs> the cornstarch chicken wings. <laughs> there was General South. I'm surprised that that ain't thing song to Hong Kong Fui. Oh man. Oh, that's we <laughs> talking about shows that wouldn't get any airtime. Zero, zero airtime. Listen here, Hong Kong Fui was the shit. It I, was. I that, but right now, no. It can play nowhere. It can't even. It can't even be played on FX. Hong Kong Fui. <laughs> you can catch it on Boomerang late at night. Not right? even on Boomerang. Not even on Boomerang. No, that's what it was on though. It was. Oh, yeah, it was. It was on Boomerang. Like 12 o'clock, two, you know, 2 o'clock. It was on. Uh, number eight, we have Locomotion by Grand Funk Railroad. Come on, that was Chuck. 70, that was 70. Come on, Chuck. 
Yes, yeah, all the 70s. That one? Okay. Yes. I thought that was I thought that was, I thought that was, I thought that was like, that, I, I know that, that song. 80s. I heard it before. I no, that, that that's from that's it's from the 70s, it's from Grand Funk Railroad. From they're from Flint, Michigan, actually. I did not know that until when that, I did research. Wow. Wow, that is uh it's gotta be like 79, because no 74. 74. We doing 74. Oh shit on the so we do it 74. Sometimes you gotta bring myself back to what tests we're doing. We're doing the ACT, not the SAT. <laughs> and I still pass that boy. Make sure you bubble in your name correctly so you can get the points for it. No, for real. Somebody in my high school didn't bubble their name incorrectly and ended up failing the entire thing. <laughs> ah, you got a 300. Like, what nigga? You can't even get to HFC with this. <laughs> Hey. Come on, what's wrong with you? All right. Uh, number seven, tell me something good. Rufus and Shaka Khan. Well, they have it a Rufus. Oh, man. Shaka Khan just got inducted. So. Then you're going to have to do Rufus. Something good. Tell, tell me that, that you like, you like it. it. Yeah. yeah. Bow, bow. All right, anyway. Number six, we have Later Marmalade by LaBelle. Oh, you talking about something that would not get played. <laughs> this song will definitely get paid, played today. What you yeah. I'm about to say, if somebody can say yeah. my booty, my booty, my another. booty hole brown, this song, that song would definitely get played. Exactly. <laughs> if someone can say my booty hole brown, someone can say in French, will you sleep with me tonight? Come on. Bro, that song is going to get sampled by Sexy Red. I swear to you. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I can't even say it right. What? What? Oh, for So was slap your ass. Damn, I didn't chase it all off. He probably pressed the end button. He's probably laughing so hard. You <laughs> <laughs> said, ha ha, oops. <laughs> Uh, we got number five. We have No Woman, No Cry. Bob Marley and the Whalers. Mm. No Woman. No I know that song. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I, move on to that that I can't wait for no. a biopic to come out. Oh, yeah. When does that come out? I thought this like January, February. It should be coming out soon. Yeah. When they drop that in the theaters, I said, What? I can't see this. Yeah, I'm surprised that it's going to theaters and not straight to what's the fuck. Yeah. Um, number four, we have Killer Queen by Queen. Yep. She was literal, the woman in that song, it was a literal man eater. Yeah. She's a killer queen. Well, that's one of my favorite Queen songs. Um, Number three, we have Then Came You by Dion Warwick and the Spinners. And the Spinners? Yep. It's mostly just Spinners. We don't hear it up until like the end. Yeah, you do. You hear Dion Warwick in the in the first verse. I met the Spinners. You hear the Spinners? You said it's most, but you said it's mostly just the Spinners. You don't hear them to the end. So it's mostly Dion. Yeah. And then you hear the Spinners at the end. I'm a contender, man. Oh, that's a, that's all. That, no, that's... you you hear you hear the you hear the leader of the spinners and Dion Warwick. That's at least that's my hear. All right. I, I probably ain't never heard it before, so. It's bad. They you... can you? They can you? Come on, now. you hear this? We just song. did a whole spinners episode on top five. You hear <laughs> this? That wasn't nobody's. That wasn't nobody's top song. Oh, sure. I thought it was Chris. I think it maybe it was Chris's song. I don't know. It wasn't yours. You had some good ones though. You had like Sadie and you know, yeah. Body Love. Hmm. Uh, number two, we have Devotion by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Devotion. Damn, that song came out in '74. Jesus. Oh, oh, okay. You gotta okay. go high. 
You ain't got the lung capacity for that. I ain't got I ain't got the Philip Bailey oh, screen in the back. Oh. I ain't doing push that. that shit out. You, you show me a large nigga that, that can do a good falsetto, okay? Sure, sure. The lungs are not know. there. Hey, all right. <laughs> Number one, we have picking pick up the pieces by every average white band. Pick up the pieces. Pick up the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I did that just for Chuck, man. <laughs> Pick up pieces. I said, pick up the pieces. <laughs> shout out to shout out to Hustle Man. Martin. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, that was a good that was a good day. That was a good episode, y'all. <laughs> Well, thank you. This has been your host, Chris Canty. We had the great debaters. We had David in here for a minute. We had all Marcel true. Smith. All and, true. of course, our new resident great debater, Chuck. Yes, sir. Uh, See y'all next time on the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. Peace.